welcome back guys to a new video now today I'm going to be talking about the brand new servers that have come for Ark Survival Evolved as well as a small Xbox patch and PC patch that has come to the game. Now I just want to say a massive thank you before I get into this video for all the support recently. The dream of getting to 100,000 subscribers is getting closer and closer every day. So if you can carry on the support by dropping a like on today's video and subscribing, that would be absolutely amazing. I hope everyone that did get the Xbox update version 771 is enjoying it and I hope my videos have helped you out of how to like use creative mode and stuff and if you haven't seen those videos make sure to go check them out they're the last ones I've done there's also like letting you guys know what is in the update as well as a first look at the new TLC Dinos phase one but anyway let's get straight in with the video talking about these servers. Now scrolling down into Community Crunch 120, it's crazy to think there's 120 Community Crunches now, and the Ark Apocalypse servers. This is the new name for Ark for the new servers, which is the Ark Apocalypse servers, and you're probably thinking, what are they? And when we scroll down, you will see the name extinction has been removed and replaced with Ark Apocalypse. And if we go down further, welcome to the newly updated and renamed extinction servers, the Ark Apocalypse is here. Increased rates on official servers that reset every month available on all maps on a new cluster Search for your session list for arc apocalypse. It's got three times taming speed three times harvest three times XP and three times mating interval as well as three times baby mature speed and three times hatch speed the reason for this is if you've never played Extinction before, you have no idea what Extinction is. It's basically where you play on a server for a month and then an Extinction event would happen where like like meteors will come down and wipe everything that is done in that month. So they like to have the times three stats normal because then you can build up quicker and see what all is done in a month. And a lot of you guys really think that's quite pointless, but in at the end it's still quite fun because you basically grind out on an ARC server. Um, it's not really for making really nice bases, it's just to have a bit of fun for a month and then it's really awesome when they you know at the end when the extinction ends and it's just a different type of thing that is on Ark Survival Evolved. Now scrolling down tomorrow Tuesday which has already been our previously named extinction servers will be rebranded as Ark Apocalypse servers for all platforms. They will now have increased rates join a fast paced server that wipes every month. The increased values are listed below as well as the key ones um, on the image above. So you will see this uh, just below. There's also crop speed will be increased to 3%. Um, cuddle interval will be reduced by 2%. And uh, hair growth speed will be increased 2% as well. Um, you'll be able to play your favorite map. And you'll be able to transfer between other op uh, Arc Apocalypse servers on a closed cluster. Separated from the main PvP cluster. Note, Arc Apocalypse servers are not affected by evolution events. So if there's an upgrade, there will not be any changes or anything like that with the evolution events that come out. Which is like times 2 and times 3. So if you are someone that's interested in playing these, then you now can. The difference I feel like with these is some people don't like going on servers where there's just constantly things built everywhere in the way. And with these servers, you get to just enjoy a map for a month. And then as soon as it gets refreshed, everyone starts in the beginning and you get to build together. A lot of people think like, you know, there's just absolutely no point in that. But it, you might not be someone that just wants to stay on one server. You like, you know, you might build up and then just in, in a month and play a lot of it and then just move on. But if things are different on Ark for everyone else, people like keeping the same things. People like building nice bases. And some people just like to have a load of fun for a month on a new Ark Apocalypse server. Now, before I talk about the uh, other small updates that came out for the Xbox and the PC, I wanted to talk again about the Great Migration just in case no one knew about it. In case you missed, we'll be offlining some additional legacy servers on the 9th of March. If you're a player on official legacy server network, please read the full post in the link below and um, so because some servers are being taken down permanently. Now, I'm not going to be going into this in depth because I have done a whole video on it. So if you'd like to go through, like, I think it was about five days ago, I talked about, like, how old it could be the end for old servers because, like, the legacy ones before that were on early access before the full release of the game so if you're someone that still plays on legacy servers if you don't know what legacy means it's as i said early access servers um they will all well, a bunch of them some of the biggest ones as well will be going offline on the 9th of march so if you are someone that has a lot of stuff on those servers you will want to go 
go on to the list, which if you I'd go check out my video because we go in depth into everything. Um, and so then you can keep hold of everything and move it onto another server you may want to. Um, you won't be able to move stuff from the legacy servers to the new servers, but you will be able to move them from some legacy servers to the ones that aren't being taken down the most popular ones. But anyway, that is the stuff that you need to know about. That's going to be happening 9th of March, as well as the new Arcpocalypse servers. Now, this is as the, uh, like a new uh, little server client update that came out for the Xbox um, version 771.1. It was basically just fix the server and client desync when attempting to do the center bosses. If you're having a problem with that, this is now being fixed. I've seen some of those comments in, uh, in obviously, my videos talking about the center bosses problem. This is now being fixed, so don't worry. This server patch should do the trick with anyone that's been having the problem. And moving on to the PC, it's... um. It's actually been, you know, some more things with version 7, uh, 278.54. Um, so fix an exploit that allow players to get through the map. Uh, so that's obviously something like an uh, under mapping and things. Um, fixed an issue where a second instant um, instance of certain boss fights could be started while someone was already inside. Um, rework extinction mode, save, uh, save nuking to kill subfolders as well. Increase plant projectile damage by 2.5%. Projectiles do three times damage to durability of chess pieces while a glider is attached. Added logic to translate damage from player uh, from player to their glider. Added a 10 second cooldown between glides and lowered glide speed by 40%. Bit sad about that because I do love gliding on this game and uh, it, I feel like lowering it by 40%. I don't know, it's that's quite a big chunk, so it's going to be interesting to test that. If you're on the PC and you play that, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. But before I end this video, I want to talk about the exploit which allowed players to get through the map. Now, this is a massive thing within the game, obviously, because so many people go on about undermapping. It's a huge thing in the game, and this needs to come to console massively. Xbox, it happens big. I don't really play ma much on PS uh, PS4, so let me know what it's like, what undermapping's like on there if you get it a lot. Because I'm happy they work, they fix the exploit, allowed uh, p people to get under the map and stuff on this because it is so overpowered. And to think this is a full game now and that hasn't been fixed is pretty crazy. So we're hoping to be able to see this exploit fixed within the next patch for the Xbox and the uh, PS4. Not sure how long it will take for this to get released, um, but it was going to be very interesting on um, in that in, in in that instance of how it's going to work on the console because I know still right now there are loads of people under mapping and when they get to uh, towards this let me just tell you if there's anyone watching this video that does do the under mapping you could be getting yourself in a lot of trouble maybe even banned off Ark Survival Evolved completely because when Wildcard get round to fixing this if anyone that's done it on the PC they've probably been banned or wiped already um, because Obviously, they'll be checking it like everything that is underground. It's just not you're just not gonna be able to get to anymore. And on the Xbox, they'll be checking anyone that has done that on the PS4. And if you are caught doing it, you will be wiped or banned. I like I can't tell you which one, but I'm just letting you guys know because I don't want anyone who loves the game and enjoys the game to be completely wiped or banned because it's just uh, you know and uh, you sh you could say that you kind of deserve it if you are cheating because it's not very fair. But anyway, that is everything that is coming out with the update. Um, obviously. So you've got the new Ark Apocalypse servers. You've got the Great Migration happening on the 9th of March. Loads of servers being taken down. That small little update was done on the um, Xbox. And obviously some big news with uh, version 278.54 for the PC. Anyway, let me know what you think about this under mapping thing in the comment section down below. It's a very big thing going on with Arcatch, obviously, at the moment. Um, and if you did enjoy today's video and you got all the news you need to know, as I always say, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Lots more videos to come, and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys later.